Um, all right, cool. So we're going to start with The Descendant. 2022 documentary. How are we doing this? Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Sounds like you want me to do it like a Colombian. Yeah. Escobar. Yeah. You wet my whistle. Do it, do it like a Colombian. First of all, I just want to put a disclaimer out there. If there's any Colombians watching this, that I do apologize for the way I'm about to butcher your ac- your accent. I mean, just give it a good welly. They'll understand. Okay. Just thinking of Scarface. I don't even know if he's from Colombia, but whatever. No, he is. I'm a Colombian. No, I'm a Cuban. That's why he's Cuban. He's not Colombian. I ain't seen Scarface in time. Starface. Oh, sorry, I'm about to digress. That's a wee That's a whole. About to digress. Okay. Follows a descendant. Oh, I, I don't know what this is, but it's um, something. Yo. <laughs> follows, f- follows descendants of the survivors on the, from the Clotilde, man. <laughs> the last ship, man, that carried Ooh. enslaved <laughs> Africans, man. <laughs> To you tired states, mate, as they reclaim their story, mate. <laughs> man got real ignorant towards the end. It's like, ah, let me just throw the mate, mate, mate. <laughs> they gonna get it. They gonna understand where I'm from. They know exactly what part Yo. of the South Americas I be. All right, that was, I don't know how to take to that one. Yeah, I don't know even if yeah, they man. heard it, but that's where it be. Anyway. Yeah. I didn't even get what that was. That's cool, man. I mean, do you care to sum that up, like... Basically, this words. is a documentary about the descendants of the last slave ship that came to America. Yeah. And this is about them looking into their history, looking into their roots, etc., finding each other. Trying to keep the history. Yeah. I think was. Because it's something that they they perceive. Well, to be fair, I'd never heard of it, so yeah. I guess they're right. So it's something that they feel that is washed is put underneath yeah, the, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean like yeah. it's subdued it's not something that is readily out there as information you have to well, go look for it so they well, wanted to well yeah that and, and I think that's pretty much even more of the bulk of the documentary is them trying to just put out the word and let them know yeah, yeah because yeah, yeah. if you think about it like being the being the descendants of of um someone who was on the last slave ship I mean that's that's something to talk about and, they, and they, you know what I thought about as well like imagine being like and growing up where it's taken place so imagine where you live now was literally where the last slave ship was there is yeah. kind of like a different attachment than yeah someone say in another state say like looking into that it's like yo i was literally i'm, yeah. I'm sitting here over there was yeah. where such and such yeah happened. my like great 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 was the, like the last person to i don't even think it's that much great no you're right yeah you're me it's not even that much great as you get to see in the documentary there are people where it was like yo my granddad yeah or, that's, <laughs> that's when you know it's wild that's yeah, when you know like that's, that's when it that's when it sounds wild yeah like, it's just like my granddad was like yeah. was on the slave ship i'm like <laughs> what <laughs> like fucking hell blood yeah that was they really mad. are a disrespectful people you know g some disrespect going on here. I feel well. It starts off with major disrespect mm. in sense, in the sense of how the ship actually ended up there. Yeah. So it was by a guy named Tiff- Timothy. I don't know why I say Tiffany. Yeah. I know why I said Tiffany, but we'll get to that later. Guy named Timothy um, Mayer. Yep. Basically made a bet that after abolish after they abolished slavery, mm-hmm. he could still bring slaves over. Yeah. Which he did. Pussy. However. Pussy reason why he's a pussy old is because he burnt the ship. Yeah. So he burnt the evidence, burnt the ship. And so that's why this was kind of unspoken about. And also started moving mad with um, trying to, uh, what's the word? Like trying to baffle the feds and the yeah. people so that they wouldn't even know where the ship was coming in. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. So yeah, was, yeah. That was, was a mad one. He was a, he was a fucker. <laughs> he was a fucker. We, we, we say he's a liquid fucking ginnel. You know what I mean? Is that what we say? The fucking junk. What is that in Jamaican? What ginnel? Yeah, the called junk roll. Liquid fucker, yo. All right, so no. roll, You get me? <laughs> this is interesting mm. because you could see how attached the people was to. Africa Town, yeah, which I, is what the town. Ta- I can't remember what the town was called before. Uh, uh, yeah, it that, was called that, Africa that, Town. That escapes me, but yeah, Africa Town, and um, they was 
they was actually uh, attached, obviously, to the family element of everything yeah, as well. Because like, there was even like a younger generation. It was yeah. interesting to see like how attached the younger generation was. Yeah, but, like you but, see a couple of mandem and it was like, yo, they felt like this was, this was like in their heart. But then do you know what? Yeah, what I do think is sometimes, like I do think that I'm, I'm just, this is just generalizing now that I think like with every generation, we end up losing a bit of our culture because- yes. Because like, so my dad was born and bred in Jamaica. Yeah. yeah? So he, he come over in the, the 50s, I think. Yeah. So, so my dad was very much Jamaican. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? So when we were growing up, what I ate, how he spoke, how he acted. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. He was Jamaican. Whereas my mum, her, she was born in England, but her parents were born in Grenada. And there was a massive difference in mm. the culture that my mum would show me to what my dad. That's why... A lot of people cuss me for this, but when I say like people say, well, from the first thing I say is Jamaican, because the reason I say that is because that's the culture. That's yeah, the, like, yeah, I no, didn't really I totally have a understand. Grenadian culture. Yeah, Do you yeah, get what I'm yeah, saying? No, I had totally a Jamaican culture yeah. growing up because like even when I used to go and see my family on my Jamaican side, yeah, on my dad's side, sorry, they were all Jamaicans. Like a they, lot of them, they, they, they were like born them, and bred yeah, in Jamaica, yeah. come over, but. With my mum, like all of her brothers, her brothers were born here. Yeah. Their kids were born here. Like it was more English. Do you understand? Yeah. So going back to relating this to the descendants, obviously the kids. So the second generations that have come after, they've been, they've still honed this. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. They've put this down and like this, this is who you are. It's You've almost like this. they've been told like bedtime stories about this, right? Like. They've sat around campfires and heard like right. this is embedded. Like I know, I kind of know nothing else but this. Like this is bro, that's something. That's... And it was quite interesting because it was even when they wanted to set up like that project where they were getting like kids to learn how to, how to s- scuba, s- dive, scuba and, dive and and research and do more to find out more about this culture to kind of keep it alive. Yeah. Which brings me to the point of what was good about this is you often hear the complaints about black communities don't stick together. Mm-hmm. And I think this was a perfect example of a community sticking together throughout a period of time for a length of years yeah. to get to a end result. Yeah. Which but- essentially they started to get to. Mm-hmm. But even as we were talking about the Tiffany, the Tiffany, the Timothy Mayer, mm-hmm. even when we was talking about what he did, it's mad to see that even up to 2000 and or in the 2000s, like say, well, 2019 is where I think they kind of got their word out and yeah. got the thing popping. But before that, where it had they had turned the town into basically factories to basically mask Mar- off yeah. all the history. Yeah. And like, it's just like an industrial estate now. Can I say something about that? About you saying that the people sticking together. Mm. Do you know why that's upsetting? Because I've always had this thing, yeah, where there, there's a... St- it's weird. I, there's a stigma of black people that they don't stick together. Yeah. Yeah. And I agree with it. But the only time I feel like black people come together. Yeah. And stick together is through trauma. That's yeah. the only time we seem to bound together yeah. and be like, we're together. Just get what me? It's never, it's never really out of fun. It's yeah. never really like, you know what? You're black. You're black. Yeah. Let's do this together. You get me? You've got a business. You've got a black business. I've got yeah, black. Like, let's, yeah, let's do this. Yeah. It's always out of, yeah. oh, this bad thing has happened to you. I sympathize with you because I can kind of understand because I've, I've been, been through, through something yeah, similar. Yeah. So let's band let's together. Do, do you know and what I mean? And it's even cool. when it is fun, it's still so much on a smaller scale in comparison. You get me? It's never on the large scale, like you're saying, when it comes to trauma-based yeah. stuff, it's always like on a big scale. Even like, look at like the Black Lives Matter thing. Mm. Like, that was huge. Yeah. Like that's the biggest. That's in my time. Yeah, yeah. as a Briton, that's the biggest thing I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, it's probably Do you like get the what biggest I'm black movement. That's kind the, of that is the biggest thing by far I've ever seen. Like that yeah. was wild. Do you know what I mean? It, it became exhausting, more exhausting to be black yeah. speaking to your white <laughs> friends and shit. It's like fucking hell. Do you know what yeah. I mean? But like again. That was um, through George Floyd, right? Was that because of George Floyd? Yeah. That yeah, was that was yeah, sparked that from that. Sparked, and that yeah, yeah. yeah, But it's like, it's trauma. It's always yeah. trauma. Like, and again, this, the last, sla- the last um, slave ship to land yeah. in America, that's what's banding these guys together. together. Not that I want to take it away. Yeah. But I'm saying, 
It's just, I, I, why, yeah, no, why totally does it agree. always have to be trauma? Why, why can't we band together I, I, just because I think you're the, black? I think the harsh reality is because most people feel comfortable in that state and can relate to people more than they can via happiness, weirdly. Like, I just feel like that's the sad reality of it, really. Fair enough. But, but yeah, anyway, back to the descendant. Um, listen, this is... I understand the sentiment here because if you, you must feel a sense of not entitlement but you must feel a sense of like like your 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 descendants have come off the last slave ship in america like, the, a, like and, and obviously when we talk about racism i think i can say safely that racism in america and racism in britain is a completely different Oh, it's, it's 100%. A complete, it's a complete... 100%. Like, I don't have to worry about going no, home no, yeah, yeah, and 100%. being lynched. Do you know, one, do you know 100%. What I'm completely different ball game. That's yeah. why I kind of sometimes sympathise with the way they go on about, uh, like, slavery stuff mm. and the trauma base because it's like, they, in some way, are still living this. You hear me? In they, some they, way, you hear me? It's, it's, it's still kind of rife. It's different it's, over oh, there. It's rife it's over, there, so. over there. And especially in certain states. Yeah. It's different over there. Like, so, I think it wasn't too, um, not too long ago that, you know, sundown states, whereas, like, if you was black and the sun yeah, was going down, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't think, I think that's like... There's a city somewhere out there that, that's still... Yeah, I, <laughs> rules pretty, still apply. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Rules still apply still I'm out here. I'm pretty sure there's them little little <coughs> states in South America yeah. where... It it, it it might not be legal, yeah. but it's like, but here, you, you know, see, you know. You see around this fence. You know you that like, I can't be out here at yeah, this time. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So out there in America, this type of story, because like, if he was talking about like, because we got the wind rush and stuff like that, it was, wasn't slavery, but I mean, yeah, you know, that's, yeah. that's where we go with it. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But in America, it's a completely different, it's a it's completely a different, different set. So when you're talking about, right, my ancestors, my granddad was the, no, my dad, not the dad, but my granddad was the earliest I heard, is was the last slave yeah. to come off the ship, this, that. That's a different, like, that's a, I don't want to say achievement, but you understand what well, I'm like saying. Well, I can that's, feel that's how they to, feel a sense of responsibility. It's like, yo, we're, yeah. like, it's on our home turf. Um, you hear me? It's yeah. like, we got to represent. We got to make yeah, sure that me? we do we this got, right. If we're not representing, who the fuck man can't expect man in New York that lives in a five-story apartment to relate to that. And we're yeah. here on the ground. Right, so, exactly. so I can see how, I don't want to say pressure, mm -hmm. but I can see how they feel a sense of responsibility. To and also of, going back to with the um, the industrial uh, situation around it obviously they try to they they try to to hide this yeah master. they try to hide this like wow like this didn't happen so like obviously and th this is the type of situation that occurs when things when things want to be like masked you know yeah, what i mean they yeah. do subtle things yeah, like yeah. let's put let's put Start um, playing a long game. Yeah, they're let's playing put, a long game let's put let's surround this town with factories do you know what i mean to to yeah pollute them etc etc to they, they probably move out they probably won't want to live here this that etc they start playing the they start playing and, the that's, long game. and that's what was powerful about the people that actually live there because yeah, it's because not like they live in beverly hills and they got peas or the town's full of rappers and entrepreneurs and that not to disrespect the people but yeah you can see it's like a humble town they're together it's, it's very peaceful so the fact that they got through that Mm -hmm. Get me through the factories and boom, 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 and managed to get this out and managed to build what they needed to build and get the message across. So oh, anyway, um, watch it or not? I I must say, it's a watch it. Um, it's good. I would say the only bad point, the only bad point I had was, it was a tad too too long. Mm -hmm. It was a tad too long. I feel like they could have summed it up. But however, there was a lot of information to get across. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They told a story. Um. It was delivered quite well. No, I, I I enjoyed it. It was good. It was insightful. I yeah. tell you what, it was insightful. A lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was yeah. insightful. Um, and that's exactly what they wanted. Yeah. Exactly yeah, yeah. what you want to understand. Yeah, they, yeah. The, the, message, to learn. the message yeah. was across. The, yeah, me exactly, the message, yeah. I received the message. I was like, I, I fully didn't know yeah. nothing about this. So I got the message. So literally on that as well, it's definitely a watch it. Um, I'll say it's a watch it as well. Yeah, definitely. Because um, obviously the message that they tried to get, tried to convey hit me. Um, I understand that we as English people might not have that 
that feeling towards slavery and racism, etc. That's not it's not really something that, especially in our generation, that yeah. we've we've really experienced. Slavery, yeah. like racism, slavery is, is different. Do you know what I mean? Racism is different. Slavery, that's not really it's a something whole different that ball we've, game. we've gone through. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or my great granddad, or my granddad, or whatever. We ain't gone through that. So for them, it's obviously a different attachment to this story being descendants of the last of people coming off exactly, the last slave exactly slave, that, do you know yeah. what i mean so yeah now nah, it was insightful um it's a learning it's a learning situation you learn things about it and be like okay right like that happened i didn't know that happened etc cetera, etc cetera. so and it was also good as well that some of the families of the actual slavers were taking accountability. That was good. Were that taking was accountability good. That was for good. And when they met up, they went on a the boat, they right. went out to like, yeah, I thought that was that was, that, that, was, was, that was, was really quite, that was one of the- um, That was different. Yeah, you know, that, that was that one of the highlights. So, that was one of the highlights of it. So yeah, uh, it's definitely a watch it from me. Yeah, Descendant, yeah, Netflix, well done. Done now. Um, okay, on to the next one. On the to the next year. one, on to the next one, on to the next. Remember, that was a big tune, man. That was a big tune. Do you know what it is, yeah? If I could remember the lyrics, I would have sang along with you, but I couldn't. It's all right. I got a hundred ways to get it. Eh? No? <laughs> <laughs> no? no? Does it say that? I, it might do. That Maybe. was at the start. On the no? fourth verse. Huh? I, I got a hundred ways to get it. I got to get it. No. Maybe. I, I I don't remember. On to, why, why could you just jump in on the on to the next one? On to the next one. Because I didn't know how many times he said on to the next oh. one. So I didn't know if he was going to stop on like the third. Because you would have been, they would have been like, oh, on to the next one, on oh, to the next, and I would have been like, on oh, to the, oh. I wouldn't do like that, man. <laughs> oh, you wolf, one liar, man. <laughs> All right, cool. The flat share. Brand new. Brand new. Like, Fresh. literally came out last week. Spankers. I ain't gonna sit here and say that man had already seen the first two episodes. Ooh. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> I ain't gonna say I went to the to the premiere. You get me? Oh, man, I'm like... Not gonna, I'm not gonna say man that. Man like you, yeah? I'm not gonna man say like that. Man like you. I'm not gonna say I saw this weeks ago and I was on the embargo. Easy enough. I ain't gonna Easy say enough. that. Can I use Bumba Ross? Yeah, you can here? use Bumba Ross Yeah, Clark. Bumba Ross Clark. Bumba yeah. Ross Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Bomber Ross Club. Bomber Ross Club. Yeah. Right, cool. 